it a malignancy? Can you produce too much lactic acid in the form of type B lactic acid? Let's build that medical brain. So what causes a type B lactic acidosis? Let's start with the first one. Let's call this malignancy. If you have a malignancy, especially leukemias, lymphomas, because you have too many cells, right? You have way too many cells like in a lymphoma or a leukemia. But also some aggressive solid cancers can do it too. If you had a malignancy, can you produce too much lactic acid in the form of type B lactic acid? Yes, why? I'm still not happy. I want to know all the way. If you don't go all the way and go to the cellular level, it doesn't make any sense to me. Even though this is clinical medicine. If you have too many cells, are the cells replicating too much? Yes. Cancer cells are growing really fast? Yes. Which means, are they going to require a lot of oxygen? Yes. Which means, even if your oxygen is okay, after a certain point, the blood flow that's growing might not be growing enough into the tumor, right? But apart from that, there is an impact we call as the Warburg effect. Okay? The Warburg effect. What this is, is whenever you have increased cell activity, you can cause cellular hypoxia even in the presence of normal oxygen. Meaning the patient is not hypoxic, pulse ox looks great, right? But those cells are not getting enough oxygen because it's a high cell activity. And as a result, you're getting less oxygen intracellularly and will lead to anaerobic glycolysis. And this is known as your Warburg effect. So malignancies can cause a type B lactic acidosis due to the Warburg effect.